Hi, this is Amato. In this video, I will show you a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Tomasz Markowski and Alexander Onishuk that was played in Polanica Zdruj in 1999. And where is Polanica Zdruj? It is a town in Poland. In this game, Markowski had white pieces and he started with knight to f3. Onishuk played d5. G3, knight to f6, bishop to g2, e6. Game started to look like a ratio opening. And now like an English opening. Bishop to e7, d4, and we have Catalan opening. It is black to move. D takes pawn on c4 is quite a common move in this position. Black castle kingside. Knight to c3. And only now black captured pawn on c4. Let's go back one move. Castling kingside is recommended. And after pawn takes pawn, queen to c2. But in, in the game, we have knight to c3. Pawn takes pawn on c4. Knight to e5, attacking pawn. It is black to move. c5 is very common and very popular move in this position. And one line goes like this. Pawn takes pawn. Queen takes queen, check. Knight takes queen. Bishop takes pawn on c5. Knight takes pawn on c4. Knight to c6. Bishop to e3. Bishop to b4, check. Bishop to d2. Bishop takes bishop. Knight takes bishop. Bishop to d7. And black is okay. In our game, instead of c5, black played knight to c6, and white has a choice. He can capture knight with bishop or with knight. If knight takes on c6, then pawn takes knight, bishop takes on c6, attacking rook, rook to b8, white would castle kingside, and black has a choice. He can play bishop to b7, bishop to d7, or even knight to d5. They're all good moves. Knight to d5 is an interesting one. So bishop can go back. e4. Knight to b4 attacking bishop. Bishop to b5. Knight to d3. Bishop takes pawn on c4. Knight takes pawn on b2. This is just one interesting variation. And black is okay. In the game, instead of knight takes on c6, white captured with bishop. Pawn takes bishop, knight takes on c6, forking queen and bishop on e7. Queen to e8, attacking knight. Knight takes bishop, check. Queen takes knight. Queen to a4. Instead of castling, white wants to win the pawn on c4. Black is not trying to defend the pawn. c5. So black is opening up the position, trying to make the most of the fact that white didn't castle yet. Queen takes pawn on c4. Pawn takes pawn. Queen takes on d4, e5, that is bringing bishop in the game. For example, if queen goes to a4, then bishop to h3 and white can't castle. Then queen must go to h4 and bishop to g2, rook to g1, bishop to c6, white can't castle. So after e5, white played queen to h4 to prevent bishop to h3. 
Rook to b8. Rook is attacking pawn on b2. But not only that. Rook is coming to b4. White castle, the king side. Rook to b4, attacking queen. e4. h6. What is this doing? That is preventing bishop from coming to g5. Rook to e1. Rook to d8, placing rook on open file. And f3 is played. If b3 is played, then rook to d3 is attacking knight. In the game we have in this position f3. And now rook to d3, attacking pawn on f3. King to g2 defending. And now a very good move by black. Queen to b7, lining queen with white king. But this is not all. Threat is rook takes pawn. For example, if a3 is played, then rook takes pawn on b2, check. Bishop takes rook. Queen takes bishop, check. Attacking knight. Knight to e2. Rook to d2 and if, for example, king to f1, bishop to a6, black is winning. So, white decided to protect pawn on b2 with rook. And we have reached critical position of the game. It is black to move. If you wish, you can pause this video. And you can try to find the killer move that black played in this position. Ready? What did you find? Would you play this? Bishop to g4 attacking pawn on f3. If rook to f2 defending, one variation goes like this. Bishop takes pawn, check. Rook takes bishop, knight takes on e4, knight takes knight, rook takes knight, queen takes rook, queen takes queen. Black is winning. So in the game, white played the most obvious move, the most logical move, bishop is captured with pawn. And now, knight takes on e4. Rook takes knight. What happens if knight takes knight? If knight takes on e4, then rook takes on e4. Rook takes rook. Queen takes rook, check. And after king to h3, queen to e1, bishop takes on h6. Queen takes rook. Queen to g5, threatening checkmate. Queen to f1, check. King to h4. Queen to f6. Black is winning. Okay, so let's go back to our game in this position. White captured with rook. Rook takes rook. King to h3. And now rook to e1 pinning bishop, but white played desperate move. Rook takes rook. Queen to g5, threat is checkmate on g7. Black played a move that both defends and attacks. Can you see a move like that? It is f6. Queen is defending pawn on g7 and pawn is attacking queen. Queen to g6. Rook takes knight. And white resigned. Possible continuation is pawn takes rook. Queen to f7. Queen takes queen. King takes queen. 
bishop to e3 rook takes pawn on a2 bishop to c5 a5 white king can't go back in the game to help with the fight c4 a4 bishop to b4 rook to c2 bishop has no chance against rook after c5 e4 and we can stop here and let's go back to move 5 and 7 at move 5 in this position black castle black decide to take care of his king safety first and only later to take the pawn on c4 and then move 7 knight to c6 was played this is much better move than what it looks like at first and then we'll go to move 20 in this position bishop to g4 this is the most beautiful move of the game brilliant and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now